Hi, welcome to another video. So, RuCode has got some new upgrades, and I wanted to talk a bit about them. It has even got the new Claude 3.7 Sonnet support, which is also kind of great. Now, after the last video I did, there have been some pretty great upgrades because almost every day it gets some new updates. The update after the last video starts from here. We first have a new feature that has added a per API configuration model temperature setting. This is great to see, especially in local models like Phi 4, which perform significantly better at some temperature settings. It also has added retries for fetching usage stats from Open Router, and it also fixed a bug where disabled MCP servers would not show up in the settings on initialization. It also added a button on the Prompts tab to copy the full system prompt to the clipboard, which is cool, especially if you use a web chat interface that you want to work similarly to the Klein. It also fixed an issue where Olama or LM Studio URLs would flicker back to the previous one while entering them in the settings. They have also reworked the checkpoints code to avoid conflicts with file locks on Windows. Another fix is that when aborting in the middle of file writes would not revert the write, which is now fixed. It can now also honor the VS Code theme for dialog backgrounds. It's also now possible to clear out the default custom instructions for built-in modes, which is really good because it is excellent for more extreme customization. It also has a help button that links to their new documentation site, along with a new switch checkpoints logic to use a shadow git repository to work around issues with hot reloads and polluting existing repositories. This is one that I like, because checkpoints would mess up the git stuff a bunch of times, which is now good. One more thing that we now have is support for project-specific custom modes in a Roo modes file, which is also great, because sometimes I just create a bunch of modes for some very temporary stuff that is only required in one repo. So, this is super great to manage all the modes via a simple file, and you can also now share it with others this way as well. It also has more Mistral models apart from Codestral, which is also good. One more thing is that they have reverted the change to allow ask mode to make markdown files. I'm fine with this because plan mode still has that. So, this is good. There's also a setting to control the number of open editor tabs to tell the model about. It's fine to have, although I don't have many of them open. They say that some people have 665 tabs open, and then they complain about VS Code's memory usage. I mean, is it real? Anyway, it also has an enable streaming mode for OpenAI 01. It also has improvements to the provider settings configuration with clear save buttons and warnings about unsaved changes. It can also correctly parse thinking and reasoning tags from Olama models, which I also like. There's also added support for setting custom preferred languages on the prompts tab, as well as adding Catalan to the list of languages. There's now some more bug fixes, and then there's also a new one called Debug Mode that specializes in debugging tricky problems, along with an experimental power steering option to significantly improve adherence to role definitions and custom instructions. These two modes are quite amazing to use as well. You can also adjust the default prompt for Debug Mode to focus more on diagnosis and to require user confirmation before moving on to implementation. After that, they also added support for Sonnet 3.7, including the thinking options as well, which is quite great, and it also has added GPT 4.5 as well, if you want to use that for some reason. So, these are the updates. Now let me show you all this stuff in action. First, just open up VS Code, and then upgrade your RuCode instance to the latest version. Once done, we can start using the new features.
Also, they have been asking a lot for users to give out reviews, so please do that as it will help them out as well. Anyway, we can now open it up here, and right off the bat, let's go to settings. Once we go here, you can see that we have a new custom temperature option, where we can now set the temperature for your models, which is quite good to see. You can also select 3.7 Sonnet here, and also set the thinking settings for it as well, which is also great. Next, if we go back, then at the bottom, we also have a new mode called Debug. It is especially great at debugging things, just as the name suggests. You can change to this mode when your program encounters an error, and then ask it to fix it, and it will do just that. You can look at the system prompt for this mode by going to the Prompts tab, and here you can just scroll down and see Debug Mode, whose prompt you can see here, which is quite great to see. Another thing that you can now do here is that you can just scroll down and then hit the Preview System Prompt button, and it will show you the whole system prompt being sent, which is quite long. It's very long. But you can also now copy it as well, by clicking the copy icon here, and it will copy it, which you can then use in something else, or edit it, or anything like that, which is really great. One more thing is that we now have a Roo modes file. So, there are two files, one for project level stuff, and one for the whole system. You can just hit the curly braces icon here, and then you'll see the option to open either of them. Now, if you open the project file, it will automatically create one for you, which will be blank like this. But the question arises, what do you need to fill in here? Well, it's quite complex. So, I'll recommend that you first go here and then hit the plus button, and it will open up this modal where you can put everything in. Then, you can just select the project level option, and boom, You'll now have your stuff configured in the RuCode file, which looks something like this, which is quite cool. There's also a new experimental mode called Power Steering. You can just go to Settings, scroll down a bit, and then you'll see the option to use the experimental Power Steering model, which, when enabled, will remind the model about the details of its current mode definition more frequently. This will lead to stronger adherence to role definitions and custom instructions, but it will use more tokens per message. So, this is good if you encounter such errors. One more thing is that they now have a documentation site, which will open up if you click this help option. And here you can see the documentation and everything, which is quite good to see. RuCode was already great, and such in-depth advanced features just allow you to tune it and shape it in almost any way you want, which makes it super amazing to use. I've been using it a lot over the original Klein, and you can too. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!